probably need more police officers, more money, not less. Fix the machine. Don't burn it to the ground, because then you'll get this. Fresh on the heels of the Tyree Nichols beating and unfortunate murder, popular YouTubers like Tim Pool are calling for more funding for police departments, not less, to strengthen them, not to take away their power. And because they have such a wide following and so many people buy into this mentality, I think it's something we really need to talk about. Hit the subscribe button, smash the bell notification icon, and let's roll that intro. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. And here's the deal. So here's the deal. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Here's the deal. heading south on Three Points Road. Welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel, where we go out of our way to try to find all the good cops we hear so much about while exposing the bad cops and the bootlickers who support and defend them and their tyrannical ways. Now, some of you may know this guy called Tim Pool. He's become quite the popular YouTuber and podcaster, garnering hundreds of thousands of views per podcast and millions of views per video. An avid supporter of rehabilitating the broken and corrupt system, Tim was recently commenting on a post-millennial article where he claims that police departments need more money, not less, and people who criticize the police are the ones we need to blame for the murder of Tyree Nichols. But the post-millennial does report on how they lowered their standards. So this is the result of of defund the police. This is the result of the attack on the police. I'm sorry, this is reality. This was not a case of white supremacy. This was five black cops beating a black man to death. And of course, they're already trying to claim it's white supremacy. Okay, dude, this is your fault. You go after the police and say, disband them, defund them and all that stuff. I say accountability. I say probably need more funding for training, probably need more police officers, probably need community intervention units, more money, not less. Fix the machine. Don't burn it to the ground because then you'll get this. But they cause the problem. Then they complain. We were right the whole time. No, dude, we hired these cops because you called this out. Now look where we are. The only thing that I can see that someone could logically agree with and what Tim says here is that what happened with Tyree Nichols is definitely not a case of white supremacy. That anyone would claim that it is, is dishonest and obviously has an agenda that doesn't include embracing the truth. The real problem here is the mental degeneracy brought about by succumbing to a culture of tyrannical thinking. And this goes hand in hand with the acquisition and influence of corrupting power. These cops could only do what they did to Tyree Nichols because they themselves don't live according to the golden rule principle of doing to others what you would want done to you. And conversely, don't do to others what you wouldn't want done to you. The law enforcement profession, supported by the extortion of the people, is a profession built on forced compliance, violence, brutality, and robbery. Like Washington said, government is not eloquence, it is not reason, it is force. And like fire, it's a dangerous servant and a fearful master. What Tim Pool is saying here is that a violent gang of armed, order-following, power-hungry control freaks needs more money, not less. And then he paints everyone who criticizes the cops with a broad brush of libtardism and blames them for being the reason departments like these have lowered their recruitment standards, which is exactly what the Post Millennial article says. The thing that makes this murky in the minds of the masses is that some of the people who are calling to defund and disband the police are largely self-proclaimed Marxist types like BLM leader Patrice Cullors. We actually do have an ideological frame. We uh, are trained Marxists. Who, along with another BLM leader, Hawk Newsom, claims that if they don't get what they want, they're going to burn this country to ashes. 
give black people their rights or we will burn this country to ashes. So we've got these people who are clearly anti-American authoritarian status, BLMers, who rightly want to defund and disband another authoritarian anti-American organization, the Fraternal Order of Police. And you've got Tim here taking sides with the gang who's got a monopoly on force, brutality, coercion, and extortion, while condemning everybody else who offers just criticism for the gangsters with badges. And I'm not saying Tim should be taking the BLM side here, but there is a side you can take here that's not BLM and it's not the Fraternal Order of Police. It's the side that says absolutely not to any form of authoritarianism. So the takeaway here is that we've got all these popular personalities out there swaying the minds of the masses and telling us that we need to fix the machine that's grinding our liberties and stealing our time and labor and strapping unborn generations with banker debt, telling us don't burn the machine to the ground. Fix the machine. Don't aren't to the ground because then you'll get this. Tim says if you don't fix the machine and feed it more money, you'll keep getting the abuse of power leading to mass unjust incarcerations and even death like we saw with Tyree Nichols. Probably need more police officers, more money, not less. But feeding the machine is exactly what's gotten us to the point where we are today. From the Knapp Commission and Mullen Commission alone, which both sought to expose and root out the systemic corruption within the New York Police Department, we see that organizations like the Fraternal Order of Police grow more and more corrupt, more equipped to inflict brutality, more prepared to do more damage to the liberties of the people as they help to implement a totalitarian surveillance and police state. Feeding the machine more money and more resources will never yield more liberty. History teaches us that the exact opposite happens every single time. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design you can get from the store, put it on a shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.